Welcome to channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. We're using a phone, but not just any phone. This is a phone that stands out in the crowd. We're talking about the Pine Phone, a device that's all about open source freedom and flexibility. It's a phone that gives you control over your software and privacy. Now before we get our hands dirty, remember hacking without permission is a big no-no. It's crucial to understand the ethics behind what we're doing. We're all about ethical exploration here, learning how systems work to make them stronger. This is about improving security, not exploiting it. Think of it like this. You wouldn't try to pick your neighbor's lock just because you know how, right? Same goes for Wi-Fi. Respect and permission are key. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use your skills wisely and ethically. So buckle up, grab your Pine phone, and let's get hacking. It's going to be an exciting ride. All right, let's kick things off with the star of the show, the Pine Phone. This little device is making waves in the tech community. This isn't your typical smartphone. It's a game changer for those who love open source technology. This device is a tinkerer's dream, running mainline Linux right out of the box. Imagine the possibilities with a fully open source operating system at your fingertips. That means we have the power and flexibility to do some serious hacking, all from the palm of our hand. Whether you're coding, testing, or just exploring, the Pine Phone has you covered. First impressions? This thing is a breath of fresh air. It's refreshing to see a device that prioritizes user freedom and customization. No lockdown ecosystem, no proprietary nonsense, just pure, unadulterated Linux. The Pine Phone is all about giving you control. You can tweak, modify, and personalize it to your heart's content. You can choose from a variety of Linux distributions like Manjaro or Ubuntu Touch, each with its own flavor. This flexibility is what sets the Pine Phone apart. But hold on, don't ditch your iPhone just yet. The Pine Phone complements your existing devices rather than replacing them. The Pine Phone isn't trying to replace your daily driver. It's an additional tool in your tech arsenal. Think of it more like a Swiss Army knife for ethical hacking and exploration. It's versatile, powerful, and ready for any challenge. It's for those of us who like to tinker, who want to understand how things work under the hood. The Pine Phone invites you to get your hands dirty and learn. So if you're ready to break free from the walled gardens and explore the open world of Linux, the Pine Phone is the perfect companion. It's a gateway to a world of possibilities. Get ready to unleash your inner hacker. The Pine Phone is here to empower you. Okay, we've got the Pine Phone unboxed and it's looking pretty slick. Now let's breathe some life into this bad boy and get it ready for some ethical hacking action. Don't worry, the setup process is pretty straightforward even if you're new to the world of Linux. First things first, we need to choose our weapon, or in this case, our Linux distribution. The Pine Phone supports a bunch of them, but for this guide, let's go with Manjaro. It's a great all-around distro that's both user-friendly and powerful enough for our hacking needs. Once you've got Manjaro up and running, it's time to connect to the internet. Don't worry, we're not going rogue just yet. We need to install some essential tools, and for that, we need good old Wi-Fi. With the internet flowing through our Pine Phone's veins, we're ready to transform it into a lean, mean hacking machine. Stay tuned! Alright, our Pine Phone is up and running with Manjaro, a solid Linux distro for our hacking adventures. But before we unleash our inner Wi-Fi warrior, there's one more crucial step enabling SSH. Think of SSH as the magic portal that lets us control our Pine Phone from a distance. Why is this important? Well, imagine this. You're comfy on your couch, laptop in hand, ready to crack some Wi-Fi passwords. The last thing you want to do is squint at that tiny Pine Phone screen and type commands on that itsy bitsy keyboard. That's where SH comes in. We can use it to remotely access our Pine Phone's terminal from another device, like our trusty laptop. This gives us the power and flexibility to hack in style without cramping our fingers or our style. Enabling SSH on the Pine Phone is a breeze. Just fire up the terminal and follow a few simple commands. Trust me, once you've experienced the joy of remote hacking via SSH, you'll never go back. Section 5. Why fight and friends? Installing your hacking arsenal. Our Pine Phone is primed and ready, SSH is standing by. Now it's time to equip ourselves with the tools of the trade. And in the world of Wi-Fi hacking, Wi-Fi is the name of the game. Wi-Fi is like a Wi-Fi Swiss Army knife. 
a powerful tool that automates many of the steps involved in cracking Wi-Fi passwords. But Wi-Fi can't do it alone. We also need to grab a few other essential packages, like air cracking. Think of Aircrack Aang as Wi-Fi's trusty sidekick, providing the muscle to crack those passwords wide open. Installing these tools is a piece of cake, thanks to the magic of Linux package management. Just open up your terminal and let the commands flow. Don't worry, we'll walk you through every step of the way. With Wi-Fi, Aircrack Aang, and our PinePhone at our fingertips, we're about to become unstoppable Wi-Fi warriors. Get ready to unleash the power. Section 6, Dictionaries, the keys to the Wi-Fi kingdom. We've got our Pine phone locked and loaded with Wi-Fi and air cracking, ready to crack some Wi-Fi passwords. But before we start bombarding networks with random guesses, we need a secret weapon dictionaries. Think of dictionaries as our master keys to the Wi-Fi kingdom. They contain massive lists of words, phrases, and common passwords that people use. Wi-Fi uses these dictionaries to try different combinations and crack those passwords. The bigger and better our dictionary, the higher our chances of success. We can find tons of dictionaries online or even create our own based on specific targets. It's like being a digital Sherlock Holmes using our deduction skills to crack the code. Remember, ethical hacking is all about understanding how systems work, and that includes understanding how people create passwords. So let's put on our thinking caps gather some powerful dictionaries and get ready to crack some Wi-Fi codes. Section 7. Unleashing Wi-Fi, Scanning the Airwaves. All right, it's time to unleash the beast. With Wi-Fi installed and our dictionaries at the ready, let's put our Pine phone to the test and scan for some Wi-Fi networks. This is where the real fun begins. Open up your terminal, type in Wi-Fi, and hit enter. Watch in awe as Wi-Fi springs to life, scanning the airwaves for any and all Wi-Fi signals. It's like using a digital divining rod, except instead of water, we're searching for juicy Wi-Fi networks. Wi-Fi will present you with a list of all the networks it detects, along with some juicy details like signal strength, encryption type, and even the MAC address of the router. It's like having X-ray vision for Wi-Fi, giving you a peek behind the digital curtain. Now remember, we're ethical hackers here, so choose your targets wisely. Only scan networks that you own or have explicit permission to test. Let's keep it legal, ethical, and most importantly, fun. Section 8. Capturing Handshakes, the secret Wi-Fi handshake. We've scanned the airwaves with Wi-Fi, identified our target, and now it's time for some covert operations. Capturing Handshakes. Think of a handshake as the secret code that a device and a router exchange when they connect to a Wi-Fi network. Capturing this handshake is crucial for cracking the Wi-Fi password. It's like eavesdropping on a secret conversation. Only instead of words, we're listening for digital packets of information. Wi-Fi makes capturing handshakes a breeze. Once you've selected your target network, Wi-Fi will patiently wait for a device to connect or disconnect. When it does, BAM! Wi-Fi snatches that handshake right out of the air. It's like a digital pickpocket. Except instead of wallets, we're stealing handshakes. And the best part? The device and the router are none the wiser. They have no idea we're secretly listening in and capturing their precious handshake. Section 9. Wi-Fi Masterclass Advanced Techniques and Tactics We've covered the basics of Wi-Fi, from scanning networks to capturing handshakes, but that's just the beginning. But now, let's take it to the next level and explore some advanced techniques that will turn you into a true Wi-Fi master. These techniques will not only enhance your skills but also make your attacks more efficient and effective. First up, we have targeted attacks. This is where precision meets power. Instead of scanning for every Wi-Fi network in range, we can tell Wi-Fi to focus its energy on a specific network. This targeted approach allows us to zero in on our desired network, making our efforts more concentrated and effective. This saves us time and increases our chances of success. By focusing on one network, we can gather more detailed information and execute more precise attacks. Next, we can fine-tune our attack methods. Customization is key here. Wi-Fi offers a variety of options, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Understanding these options allows us to choose the most effective method for each unique situation. We can choose the best method based on the target network's security protocol and our own hacking style. Whether it's WPA, WPA2, or WPS, there's a tailored approach for each. And let's not forget about optimization, Fine-tuning is essential for peak performance. We can tweak Wi-Fi settings to squeeze every ounce of performance out of our Pine phone. This includes adjusting various parameters to suit our specific needs. 
We're talking about adjusting timeouts, tweaking packet injection rates, and even customizing our attack patterns. These adjustments can significantly impact the efficiency and success rate of our attacks. With these advanced techniques at our disposal, we're no longer just button mashing script kitties, we're strategic operators using our knowledge and tools to their fullest potential. We've become strategic Wi-Fi warriors capable of adapting to any situation and cracking even the toughest of Wi-Fi passwords. Our skills have evolved and so has our approach. Remember, knowledge is power. And in the world of ethical hacking, the more you know, the more powerful you become. Continuous learning is the key to staying ahead. So keep experimenting, keep learning, and most importantly, keep hacking ethically. The journey of mastering Wi-Fi is ongoing and every new technique you learn brings you closer to becoming an expert.